Russia will put its enemies such as United States in their place, Medvedev says. According to Dmitry Medvedev, the collective West did not care about Russia becoming a strong power again, capable of ensuring its interests and protecting its citizens abroad. Deputy Chairman of the Russian Security Council Dmitry Medvedev dedicated his first post on Telegram to the West's unprecedented pressure on Russia. The West's flagrant hatred of Russia will apparently never hit rock bottom. NATO's expansion towards our borders, an all-out economic and information war against our country, non-stop threats and intimidation attempts and the fierce persecution of our citizens overseas are the reason for the extreme rise in international tensions that the world is going through, the Russian Security Council's deputy chairman wrote. He lashed out at Western nations' behavior towards Russia saying it was disgusting, nefarious and immoral in recent years. According to Medvedev, the collective West did not care about Russia becoming a strong power again, capable of ensuring its interests and protecting its citizens abroad. They have an urgent need to corner our country, bring it to its knees and reform it based on the Anglo-Saxon world's blueprints, to make it weak and obedient, or better yet, to tear it to pieces, Medvedev pointed out when speaking about the West's intentions. It won't work. Russia is strong enough to put all of its brazen enemies in their place, he added. We genuinely sought good relations with them. We defeated Nazism together in the 20th century and agreed on universal rules of security and cooperation. But now, the West's double standards should not surprise anyone. They turn a blind eye to everything they don't want to see, including the extermination of civilians in Donbass, which has lasted for years. If anything fails to go according to their plans, our country is the one to blame, Medvedev emphasized. He stressed that Russia would continue to fight for a world order that suited the country and our people, free of Nazi thugs, historical lies and genocide. Just like before, we have moral strength and historical truth on our side, he stated.